Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and for today's video I want to show you how I gave my mirror a makeover. I'm gonna take you through the whole process including how I made the template for the flowers on Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. This is what it looked like before, uh, my dad painted it when I was little and I didn't want to just replace it with a new one. This one is still working fine, so it just needs an update. The first thing I had to do was sanding. I took the mirror outside and laid an open plastic bag on the floor. I couldn't just remove the glass, so I covered it with masking tape all around. Then I also taped another plastic bag to the center to protect from dust and paint. Now it was time for sanding. I got my electric sander and I also made sure to put a mask on. I didn't want to remove all the paint, I just wanted to make sure I had a smoother surface and that the paint would adhere properly. I did run into a slight complication here, which was that the paint was kind of getting stuck in some areas, it felt slightly uh, rubbery, so I tried to fix it by sanding it by hand, which made it better, but uh, still not great. Still by hand, I also sanded the sides on the outside and inside, as well as all the corners. Then removed the dust with a brush. Now it's painting time. Pretty straightforward. I just put a bit of paint onto a plastic plate and used a brush, then later a roller for a smoother finish uh, to paint it. I gave it three coats of paint and let it dry in between. Once it was dry, I brought it inside and measured it, so I could create a, a mock-up version of it on my computer. These were my measurements, 45cm wide, 65 for the thickness of the frame and 170cm in height, also counting, uh, also counting the legs at the bottom. With those measurements, I went to Illustrator and drew the mirror using rectangles with the exact size. I then used that to figure out what type of drawing or illustration I wanted to add. I ended up deciding on a vector illustration of these flowers, I will link the free resource site I took them from in the description box below. Once I got the placement and dimensions right, I made a new A4 file and pasted them there. As you can see, they were a bit too big for the page, so I had to slice them. I made a rectangular shape, placed it over the drawing in the center of the page and pressed Command 7 on my keyboard, which created a clipping mask. I then copied that to exactly the same place on another page created a guide at the edge, that's that thin blue line, and moved the drawing until the left edge touched it. Then I double clicked on the edge of the shape so I could edit the mask and pulled it to the left, revealing the rest of the image. I then printed it and taped the sides of both pages together. Next, I cut it out and took the drawing to the window where I traced the drawing to the back side of the paper using a soft pencil. Mine was a B4. I 
I gave it a trim and held it to the wooden frame with tape. Then I just traced everything once again, this time with the harder pencil. This will make the lead on the back of the paper stick to the surface, so I will be able to use it as a guide for painting. Once I finished, I removed the paper and, as you can see, it left these faint silver lines. I then used a light blue paint, though it almost looks like white, to carefully draw the flower outlines. To finish off and paint the tiny lines at the center of the flower, uh, my brush was a bit too thick, so I tried using a sewing pin to do it. Um, it worked fine, I guess, but uh, if I did it again, I would have used the pen that I'm using here to add little line details uh, that will help give the drawing a bit of dimension. This pen is a white ink pen from Uniball. It worked great and uh, being a pen meant I could control it a bit better to have those really thin lines. I did the exact same process for the bottom of the mirror as well, but just with one flower. And once it was done, I removed all the bags and all the tape. And that was it! This is the finished result. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though uh, the core videos are a bit different than what I usually make. If you enjoyed it, uh, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!